High School Sports on WTKM FM Hartford. Back here in West Bend for Hartford Union football against West Bend East Suns. Just getting underway here the second quarter. The Suns lead this one 7 to nothing. On the first play of the second quarter is Connor Ford handing off. And the Orioles will drop for about four, maybe three or four yard loss. So it's going to set up second and 14. East doing a really good job up front on both sides of the ball. So now two receivers split to the right of the formation for Hartford. Split backfield. Ford drops back to pass. Looks, gets hit as he throws, and the ball's going to be underthrown. Tended target was Dominic Safidi. Or, excuse, yeah, Safaldi, excuse me. So it's going to set up third and long with 11.23 left on the second quarter. Suns lead at 7 to nothing. I want to say hello to all the listeners that are listening to us online or on a mobile device at WTKMnews.com. Can't be near a radio? That's a great option to hear uh, broadcast as well. Or if you know somebody that uh, would like to listen to the game from afar, that's another great option. Three receivers to the right, one back behind the quarterback, and one and the fumble on the snap. Ford is able to retrieve it. Now he's in scramble mode. High throw, no good. And that is an incomplete pass. Harford really struggling with uh, their execution here. We've got a block punt, miscues, all um, not fielding a, uh, a kickoff. And now a botch snap really puts the Orioles in a bad spot. So, so now the Orioles are one for five on third down. 11-17 left here in the second quarter. Orioles trail 7-0. And now Harford's got to punt it again. The Suns are standing at their own about 50 yard at the 50 yard line, waiting the punt. And the punt gets away by Ford. High, high kick. It's going to bounce at the 43 and bounce backward down at the 40 yard line. And that is by Sean Winkleman. East has been just gifted with a lot of really good field position throughout the course of the, the early part of this game. In the third drive, and all of them have started on the, their plus side of the football field. Okay, first and ten for the Suns. Ball's at the 40-yard line. One receiver to the left. Split backfield next to the quarterback of Owen Carlson. Here's the snap. Drop back. Trying to set up the screen, and it is caught, but it's going to be behind the line of scrimmage by by the Orioles' defense. Really good execution defensively there by the Orioles that have kept uh, Hartford uh, in this one here in the early going after a couple miscues in the first quarter. So the play is going to be a goal for a loss of about three, maybe four yards on first down, setting up second and officially 13 yards for the Suns. 10.35 and counting left here in the second quarter, 7 nothing east over the Hartford Orioles. One receiver to the left, two behind Carlson in the backfield. There's the snap, handoff up the middle, close to the line, original line of scrimmage are the Suns, and that's where it's going to stop. So that's... Cutler Shep, or excuse me, Caleb Shep, that's carry the ball out to the original line of scrimmage of the 40-yard line. So it's going to set up third and ten for the Suns. They're two of three in that category so far here tonight. This would be a great opportunity to get a stop here for Hartford, too. Quickly to the line of the Suns. Two receivers to the right, two in the backfield, next to Carlson in the backfield. There's the snap. Carlson rolling out to his right. He's getting pursued. He's looking for a receiver. Pump fakes. He's running out of room. Breaks a couple tackles. Gets across the 40. Runs up the sideline. Across the 30-yard line. Flag comes in at the end of the play. It's enough for a first down. Good job by Carlson to make something out of nothing. It was a gain of 14 on a, right now, but there is a flag down. Let's check the penalty. And it's a personal foul against the Hartford Orioles. I'm going to guess it's going to uh, lay hit out of bounds. So that's going to tack down 15 more yards from the 26-yard line. So, again, 14-yard game by Carlson, plus the 15 yards for the, the hit out of bounds. 
So the, after the penalty, now the ball is going to be sitting first and 10 at the 13-yard line. So they did first uh, half the distance to the goal for the penalty. So the Suns now back in the red zone, up 7-0 with 9.36 left here in the second quarter. Full house backfield for the Suns. No receivers. Carlson under center. Gets the snap. Hand off. It was to the left side. Got a hole to the left. And that was Cutler Schmidt that carried it over the left side to the five-yard line. It's going to be short of the first down, but a gain of nine on that first down play. Second and one at the five. East threatening to punch it into the end zone. Already up 7 nothing with 9.15 and counting left here in the second quarter. East up to the line again. Full house backfield. No receivers for East. Carlson under center. And left guard movement. And that's going to push the, guard, the Suns back five yards. So a false start by the Suns. will push them back five yards from the five to the ten yard line. So that's the first penalty for East. So shout out to the Hartford fans on the far sideline. Really nice and bright neon theme for the Cage Crazies, the student section for the Orioles. So great showing across the other side. Again, full house backfield for the Suns. Here's the handoff up the middle, pushing through the pile. And Shep is the ball carrier. Gets close to the five-yard line. So let's call it, uh, let's call it a four-yard gain. Just shy of a five-yard line, so it's going to be third and goal at the six. Uh, excuse me, that's third and three. There's another. They can get a first down at the three-yard line. East two of four on third down so far. Now they're full house backfield. Here's the snap. Handoff over the left side. Should be enough for a first down, and he's going to be short of the goal line. And Schmidt is the ball carrier to, gets it to the one-yard line, setting up first and goal for the Suns at the one. East now three of five on third down. We're under eight minutes to go here in the second quarter. East seven, Orioles nothing. East on the door looking to break through for another touchdown. Full house backfield. Carlson gets set under center. No receivers. There's the snap. Handoff straight up the middle. Touchdown. Looks really close, and it is a touchdown. And Caleb Schmidt is the touchdown. And now it is 13 to nothing. Hartford or West Bend East on Hartford. Pending the extra point. Waiting the extra point. Snap kick is down and it's up, and that looks good, and it is. Your new scores West Bend East 14, Hartford nothing. You're listening to high school football on your community station for local news and information 104.9 WTKM and streaming online at WTKMnews.com. Finding that missing shin guard, remembering whether it's a home or away game. Getting the right kid to the right playing field on the right day. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. We work with independent agents who keep insurance simple so you can worry about more important things, like not being that fan. Oh, come on, ref! That's simple human sense. Call R.S. Semler and Associates Insurance in Hartford at 262-673-3160. On Twitter, Facebook, and on the web at rsemler.com. High School Sports on WTKM-FM Hartford. Back here in West Bend for week four of high school football featuring the Hartford Union Orioles and the undefeated West Bend East Suns. Your new score is East 14, Hartford nothing, courtesy of a one-yard touchdown run by Caleb Shep. 7.33 left in the second quarter. Hartford has some miscues here in this first half that has really put them behind the eight ball and given great field position for the Suns all night. Hartford's now going to have to play from behind. There's the kickoff. A little pooch under kick, and it's a bouncing rolling ball, and it is going to be fielded at the 19-yard line, and that's where it's going to stay, taking the 
was uh, Kenneth Kaiser the third. Received it at the 19 and just took a knee right there at the 19-yard line. Thanks to our sponsors for supporting Hartford Orioles football. Those include Forte Bank, Zern Building Products in Allenton, Watertown, Cedarbury, and Franklin. RS Semler Associates Insurance, Eastside Lumber Company, and Schornborg's Floor Covering. So first and 10 for the Orioles at their 19-yard line. There's the snap. Clagey rolling out to his right, gets the pass off, and it's completed on the far sideline, across the 35, goes to the 40. And coming up with that one was Jacob Bauer, gain of uh, 20 yards on that first down play, and that is exactly what Hartford needed. After a couple of struggles offensively, they get a big play of 20 yards on that one, first and 10 now at the 39-yard line. Quickly, Hartford back to the line. Tight formation. Here's the handoff. And off to the right side, here's some room. Across the 50, the 40, breaks a couple tackles. That's Genders, across the 10, and he is going to make it. Touchdown, Hartford Union, 59-yard, 61-yard, excuse me, 61-yard touchdown run. That is by Reed Genders, and Hartford is back in this game on a big 61-yard run by Reed Genders. Well, you talk about needing a big play. Hartford just got it in the biggest way. Just like that, the Orioles are back in this game. Having the extra point is now 14 to 6. So Hartford getting ready for the point after attempt. The snap, ball is down, the kick is up, and it is good. Your new score is West Bend East 14. Hartford 7, courtesy of the Reed Gender 61-yard touchdown run. You're listening to High School Football in your community station for local news and information, 104.9 WTKM, and streaming online at WTKMnews.com. Small enough to know you, big enough to serve you, east side number, east side. We have the knowledge and experience working for you. High School Sports on WTKM-FM Hartford. Back here in West Bend, week four high school football featuring the Hartford Union Orioles and the West Bend East Suns. We've got a new game. Hartford needed a big play, and they got them. Two plays, 81 yards, and it is a touchdown, a 61-yard touchdown run by Reed Genders. Makes the score now 14-7 in favor of East against the Orioles. 7-0-2 left here in the second quarter. Hartford getting ready for the kickoff. Coming up to the kick. It is up and it is away. It's a good long kick. Fielded at about the six yard line for the Suns. Cross the 10 to 15 to the 20. Ball come down and that looks like the ball may have popped out. But at East did, and it, it did pop out, but East was able to recover. So it's gonna be first and 10 at the 22 yard line for the Suns. So now Hartford is back in this with just one possession now trailing with 6.52 left here in the second quarter. Hartford got the ball to start this game so East would get it to start the third quarter. One receiver to each side of the formation, two, re- two backs up by next to Carlson. Carlson gets the snap. Looking for a receiver. He's got one there and he's already out of bounds. That pass was a little long and a little wide. Pass was intended for Pierce Rummel, team's leading receiver. But Carlson just led his receiver too far and it drifted out of bounds. He didn't make the catch anyway, but even if he did, it would have been out of bounds and incomplete. So 6.45 left here in the second quarter. 14-7 East over the Orioles. Second and 10 at the 23-yard line for East in their own side of the field. 
One receiver to the left, two behind Carlson at center and shotgun. Here's the snap, handoff up the middle. Hartford gets good penetration up front. Not a lot there, maybe a yard on that second down tote. Gets out to the 24-yard line. It's going to set up third and nine for the Suns. The three and five on that cat in that category so far tonight. Boy, a really good chance here to Hartford to pin their ears back and go get the quarterback and really give themselves another chance at the football and really make this thing interesting. So third and nine at the 24-yard line. The Suns on their own side of the field, their worst field position of the game. They've had three possessions up until then, and all of them are on their side of the on the plus side of the 50. And we've got a whistle before play, and this is going to be a timeout for West Bend East. They're going to have one timeout left. We'll take a quick break with them. You're listening to High School Football on your community station for local news and information, 104.9 WTKM, and streaming online at WTKMnews.com. This is Tim Perman, president of Forte Bank. As your locally owned and operated financial institution, we've been cheering on the community for more than 100 years. When you bank with Forte Bank, your money is reinvested back into Washington County to support your favorite local businesses and community initiatives. With locations in Hartford, Slinger, and Richfield, our entire crew wishes all local athletes good luck this season. Forte Bank, your community bank, your opportunity bank. Member FDIC. High School Sports on WTKM FM Hartford. Back here in West Bend for high school football. Week four, already halfway done with the 2023 season. Hartford Union is on the road here against the undefeated East Suns. The Orioles trail this one 14-7, and they've got East in third and nine at the Suns' 24-yard line, 14-7. East lead, 6.06 left in the second quarter. Two receivers to the right of the formation for Carlson and the Suns, one to the left. Here's the snap, a fake handoff, now looking for the pitch. Here's out to the left side. Hartford's got a lot of defensive players on that side, and they're not going to get anywhere close to the first down. They're going to drop the Suns for a loss of three yards on that pitch to the left side of the offense. Good stand by the Hartford defense, and the Orioles are going to get the ball right back on a a three and out. So it's going to be fourth and 11 for the first time tonight. Hartford's going to, or East is going to punt this ball off. Waiting for the football at his own 44 yard line. It's number 13 junior, Aiden Fry. Here's a high snap. Hartford, or East has to bring it down. Here's the run to the right side. Across the 20 to the 25, close to the 30. Almost made it into the first down, but a miscue on special teams by East is going to now hopefully benefit the Orioles. It's going to be first and 10 for the Orioles on East's 31-yard line. Boy, both teams struggling with special teams miscues here tonight. So really how Hartford's got a golden opportunity to knock this thing up just a few minutes before halftime. 542 left. In the second quarter, Hartford trails 14 to seven on the East Suns. In tight formation here for the for the Orioles. No receivers. Two wing backs and one back behind the quarterback. Quarterback on this one is Connor Ford. Uh, waiting for the officials to be set. So here's the formation. Here's the handoff up the middle. That's Boudwine. That's across to the 29. Just a gain of two on that first down play. So it's going to set up second and eight for the Orioles. Five and a half left here in the second quarter. Orioles trail 14 to seven. But they are inside of the East 30 yard line. Double wing formation. Jetters on the on the motion. Pake is the handoff. Risky pass and it is picked off. Connor Ford throws the interception. He was trying to hit one of his receivers. Ball was underthrown. He was trying to get to Jacob Bauer on the flat. Pass is picked off, and that is gonna be that is a costly turnover. East is gonna get the football back at 5-10 left here in the second quarter. Just when you had an opportunity, unfortunately, uh, Hartford was not able to capitalize. And East forces the turnover on the interception. So now East has it, first and 10 at their own 23-yard line. Front side, 
So two receivers to the left of the formation, one to the right, one next to Carlson in the shotgun. Here's the snap. Carlson moving to his right. He's tackled. No, he broke the tackle in the backfield. He's still trying to dodge defenders. He is now finally brought down in the backfield. It's going to be a big loss for East on, on that play. And we've got, it looks like it's going to be a timeout on the far sideline. So I didn't even see the flag. There's, there was a flag on the far sideline. And it looks like it will go against the Suns. No. No, it's a sideline infraction, it looks like, on Hartford. Yeah, I didn't even see a flag on the far sideline. They must have picked it up already. So it's a sideline infraction for the Orioles. Usually, they, I wonder if they even gave them a warning already because usually they would give a team a warning before they actually throw the flag. So the ball is placed at the 17-yard line. Or was that the warning that they just issued? Because that ball is still back at the 17-yard line. Nonetheless, it's four receivers, two to each side. Carlson's got a receiver, and he's wide open at the 45-yard line. He just has one man to beat. Across the 35, 30, gets close to the 20-yard line. And that is a big 50-yard passing catch for the East Suns. East of receiver just playing out beat the coverage. It looked like maybe a little miscommunication in the secondary. That's a big play for East on second and 17. It's a 50-yard pass completion. It is now first and 10 for the Suns at the 29 of Hartford. We're at 417 and counting left here in the second quarter. 14-7. East leads the Hartford Union Orioles, but now yes, Ben East is on the plus side of the 30-yard line. Three backs in the formation. Here's the snap. Handoff is over to the left. Carrying it is, is Connor Schmidt. And Schmidt gets a pretty good gain on first down. Gets it to the 24, so he gets half of the, dart, of the yard marker. So it's second and five. So second and five at the 24-yard line for the for the Suns. Full house backfield, two and th one is three. Carlson takes and keeps the snap. Brooks around the right side, across the finds a hole, across the 20 to the 15, pushed out of bounds at the 15, maybe close to the 14-yard line. That's going to be first and 10 for the Suns at the 14-yard line of Hartford. 3.23 left here in the second quarter. 14-7. East leads the, leads the Orioles. But again, Hart, or East is knocking on the door, trying to break it down. First and 10 at the 14-yard line for the Suns. Carlson lines up under center. Full house backfield, no receivers in the formation. Here's the snap. End around counter is to the right side. Break a couple tackles as East on the right side. Still plugging away on the right side inside the five to the four yard. Caleb Shep would not go down on that play. Gets it to close to the close to the first down marker. Boy, that's really close. I wonder if they'll have to do a measurement here. And they are going to call it as a first down. So it's a first and goal for the Suns at the four yard line. 2.50 left in the second quarter. Suns 14, Orioles 7. First and goal for the Suns at the 4. No receivers. Full house backfield for, for East. Carlson with the snap. Handoff over the right side. Lots of room for East, and that's a touchdown for the Suns. Cutler Schmidt, 5 yards, 4-yard touchdown run for the Suns. And it's back up to a two-touchdown game. Cutler Schmidt with his second touchdown of the game. This one from four yards out. 20 to seven, pen, extra point pending. Cutler Schmidt, his second touchdown of the night. 231 left. Here comes the extra point. Snap, kick his ball is down, kick is up, and it is good. Your new score on a four-yard touchdown run by Cutler Schmidt is 21-7 East on the Oriole, um, on Hartford. You're listening to High School Football on your community station for local news and information, 104.9 WTKM, and streaming online at WTKMnews.com. 
Zern Building Products has been Wisconsin's trusted and reliable supplier of quality building materials since 1953. Family run and passionate about creating a new standard in the trade. And thanks to your loyalty, what started as a team of just five has grown to over 200. You'll find our four expansive lumber yards complete with spectacular showrooms across Wisconsin. That's Allenton, Cedarburg, Franklin, and Watertown, where we're proud to build on our reputation for excellent service. Take a step inside. Find us at Zerns.com. High School Sports on WTKM-FM Hartford. 2.31 left here in the second quarter. Your new score on a four-yard touchdown run by Isis Cutler-Schmidt. extends the lead to 21-7 in favor of the Suns on the Hartford Union Orioles. 2.31 left, second quarter. Hartford going to get the ball back here. High pooch punt or pooch kick. Fielded at the 21-yard line. Not really much there on the right side and pushed out of bounds. That is Aiden Fry on the re- on the return. Gets it past the 30, so a gain of about 10, 11 yards on the return. So, so big 50-yard pass play got, Hart, or got West Bend East out of trouble on their side of the field was the key play on the last drive for the Suns. And the Suns capitalized that and turned it into a touchdown to take a 21-7 lead. Now 2.26 left in the second quarter before the break. Two receivers to the right, one to the left here for Hartford. Snap, low, that is to Kalegis. Kalegis rolls to his right, looking for a receiver. He's got one open, does a long throw, about 10, 15 yards, but unfortunately it's only going to go for about one or two officially as he was rolling out to his right. So clock running down to close to two minutes left here in the second quarter. Carford quickly to line. Three receivers to the left, one to the right. Here's the snap. Looking left for the pass. It's a slant. Over the middle, incomplete. Pass intended for Dominic Cifaldi. It's going to set up third and about eight for the Orioles. Hartford one of five on third down here so far tonight. 155 left in the second quarter. Hartford looking at third and eight. Need to make a conversion here because that's going to give East a lot of time with the football if you have to give it back to them. And East will get the ball to start the third quarter. Three receivers to the left, one to the right. Shotgun formation. Here's the snap. Roll to the left. That's Cleggies. He's got. He's looking for. He's in trouble. He's trying to find a receiver to the left side. Good coverage on the back end by the Suns and Cleggies is brought down at the 29-yard line. Clock is at 140. And Jeff Rondorf is going to call his last timeout for the Suns. So 140 left, 141 left here in the second quarter. 21-7. East on leads the Orioles. East looking to get the ball back in relatively good field position. And they're going to get the ball again to start the third quarter. So really a chance here for East to blow this thing open when this sequence right here. This is a big challenge for Hartford defensively. I want to thank to our sponsors for supporting Hartford Orioles football. They are Forte Bank, Zern Building Products in Allenton, Watertown, Cedarburg, and Franklin, RS Semler and Associates Insurance, Eastside Lumber Company, and Schnorenberg's Floor Covering. Next broadcast for here on 104.9 WTKM and online at WTKMnews.com. It's going to be Thursday night, so six nights from tonight, Hartford will play Homestead, the Highlanders coming off a big 24-21 win last week against Slinger. We'll have the call for you next Thursday night for high school football. Pre-game 6:45 kickoff right at 7 o'clock. So Connor Ford lines up in punt formation for the Orioles. There's the snap. Kick is high. And over end, fair catch is called for. The East calls for it and gets it at the 35-yard line. Pierce Rummel with the re- reception, and that's where the Suns will start. First and 10 on their own 35-yard line. 1-34 left here in the second quarter. Suns lead the Orioles 21-7. This is a big opportunity and drive for the Hartford defense. Got to keep East out of the end zone or even off the scoreboard because the Suns do get the ball to start the second half here tonight. 
So five drives by the Orioles tonight. Four of them have ended in punts, and one was a two-play 81-yard drive that ended in a touchdown for the Orioles, capped by Reed Genders, a 61-yard touchdown run. That made the score 14-7 in favor of the Suns. One receiver to each side of Suns come up to the line, two, two backs. Here's the snap, Carlson. Short drop, pass to the right, it completed. Coming up with the reception, that is Ryan Blank. Gain of about seven yards, gets it out to the 42-yard line, but more importantly for the Suns, he gets out of bounds. So the East has no timeouts left, so a minute 29 left. They're close to midfield. Coming up at halftime, we'll you take a little. We'll take a couple of breaks, and then uh, we'll talk a little bit about what we've seen here so far. I mean, what some adjustments that might need to be made here in the second half to, of this one. And then as we get ready, ready for the second half, and we'll see if we can catch some uh, out of town scores as well. Here's the snap. Carlson looking to his left. Now rolls to his left. Gets the pass away, and it's picked off at the 45-yard line on the far sideline. Cross the 30, 25, close to the 20. And picking off the pass was Dominic Cifaldi. He read that route perfectly, and he jumped the route, made the interception, and got a great return on it. Big stop by Hartford on defense. Now get a golden opportunity to get back within a possession as we near the end of the first half. 119 left in the second quarter. 21-7, east with the lead, but Hartford has the ball. First and 10 on the east 21-yard line. Here's the snap, handoff to Genders, and he's going to be stopped right away. Gets a, he's going to be dropped for a couple yards loss. I think Hartford has two timeouts left, so they've got time. We're at one minute left here in the second quarter. Hartford not in a big rush with those timeouts in their back pocket. It's going to be second and 12 at the 23-yard line. One receiver to each side, shotgun snap. Here's the hand, or the snap. Ford rolling to his left, trying to find somebody. Still has the ball, across the 25. Gets out of bounds. He's brought down out of bounds, but uh, no flag. After all that running, unfortunately, he's going to be marked as officially no gain. So it's going to set up third down. So it actually looks like they'll mark him for maybe about a half a yard loss. So it's now third down for Hartford. One of six so far tonight in that category. We're at 35 seconds left here in the third in the second quarter. The clock has stopped after the play went out of bounds. Now three receivers to the left, one to the right, one behind Ford in the backfield at quarterback. There's the snap. Ford looking right. He's got a receiver and man coverage. Airs it out. And just overthrows his receiver. It was good coverage on the far side for the East Suns. So it's an incomplete pass. Ford trots over to the sidelines. This is a tricky spot here for Hartford. I think you you would almost have to think they're going to go for it. It looks like it might be four down territory here for the Orioles. So it's 4th and 12 at their own at the East 23-yard line. Hartford is lining up to go for it. Nope, they're going to send in the kicking team. So lining up for the field goal is R.J. Tom, Thomas. It's a 40-yard kick. There's no wind. So here comes the snap. Snap, ball's down, kick is up. It's away. It's got the length. Is it through the uprights? And it is good. He got that by plenty. He may have made that close to 50 yards. So a 40-yard field goal by the Orioles. It's now 21 to 10 East over the Suns. You're listening to High School Football on your community station for local news and information. 104.9 WTKM and streaming online at WTKMnews.com. This is Tim Perman, president of Forte Bank. As your locally owned and operated financial institution, we've been cheering on the community for more than 100 years. When you bank with Forte Bank, your money is reinvested back into Washington County to support your favorite local businesses and community initiatives. With locations in Hartford, Slinger, and Richfield, our entire crew wishes all local athletes good luck this season. Forte Bank, your community bank, your opportunity bank. Member FDIC. High School Sports on WTKM-FM Hartford. 
Back here in West Bend. 24 seconds left here in the second quarter. Week four of the high school football season. A 40-yard field goal by Hartford's R.J. Thomas. 21 to 10 in favor of, of the Suns. So after Hartford on defense gets the interception, weren't able to put it in the end zone, but they did get points, which is always important. So here's the kick, high or in, and or in kick, is fielded at the 10-yard line, comes to the right side of the Suns, across the 20, cuts back to the 25, now across the 30, drifting to the right sideline, close to the 30-yard line. RJ Tomey on the stop. And that's where East will start, but there is a penalty flag on the far side. It looks like the indication was on on West Bend East. I didn't see exactly. It might be a holding penalty. It's usually in the area of it. So the East is already backing up. So it's a 10-yard holding penalty on the Suns with 15 seconds left. East has no timeouts. And imagine they're going to try and be just conservative here because they know they're going to get the football to start the third quarter. So 15 seconds left. It's first and 10 for the Suns at their own 16-yard line. Suns have no timeouts, but again, they do get the ball to start the second half. So Carlson is under center. One receiver close to the line of scrimmage. And Carlson's going to take a knee, and I think that's going to be the last play of the second quarter, and they're just kind of waiting for it. But, yeah, it's a line 1-0. So that is the end of the first half here in West Bend. The Suns at 3-0 lead the Hartford Union Orioles 21-10. East will get the ball to start the third quarter. You're listening to High School Football on your community station. For local news and information, 104.9 WTKM and streaming online at WTKMnews.com.